All right, coming into Nayusha's first match of the day, up against Brookfield. Both wrestlers aggressive off the back. Her opponent did try a head and arm there. Didn't have anything from it though. Chris might be up there, so just keep an eye on him. Needs to get inside control. Her opponent's really keeping her at bay here. Has it. Might be able to. No, it needs to lean back into her now. Needs to circle on top. Get that head out. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Still keeping in front of her opponent. No points scored yet. Still has that leg. Still has that leg. Needs to get her legs moving. Ah, oh, Fort was able to go around from Oxford, so he pops up over there. Yeah, Jeremy's going to be up first. Yeah. Only down two. Her opponent's been there for some time. I can't believe they're not up yet. You want to call him up any day now? They've been there for like 20 minutes. Thank you. 45 seconds on the ground, no problem, apparently. A little bit of adjustment there. All right, only down by two. Like, she's not lost anything. It just took forever to get stand, stood up again. Her opponent really going for that head and arm every time. Really just needs to watch her level. Her opponent being passive. She's like pushing her away the whole time. Needs to just break down that uh, left arm. Now has it. Needs to swing, take the back. And almost does. Needs to get that arm off. Or use it. She has a lot of position. She's far too bound up to her opponent. Yeah, she was just sort of sitting there for a long time. Not using her time effectively is uh, the real big issue there. She had position, she just needed to advance it. And uh, she couldn't, unfortunately. She got far too bound up into her opponent and that's exactly what her opponent wanted. Um, she didn't give up any points on that, really. Gonna definitely be talking to her about uh, advancing position a little bit more. Her opponent's keeping her at bay. She's stiff arming that left shoulder uh, fairly consistently. If she can pop that off, she might be able to get inside into an underhook position or a two on one possibly. Um, yeah, there's, there's a few different things that she could do, she could come out and do, but it's two two. I mean, it's not like uh, anybody's blowing away with this. It's just who can advance their position quicker than uh, their opponent. That's all it is. Alright, coming back to the middle in round two. Why is it zero two now? Oh, I guess they appealed it. Yeah, they appealed it. You need to go faster than that, Nayusha. Come on. Yeah, that's the big lesson today. When you throw a sh uh, throw a shoulder throw, you have to. Throw it, if it doesn't work, you gotta get out of it. You're just giving up your back all day if you're just standing, falling into these things. I didn't see uh, what was the call there. I was just sort of topping, ugh, talking off the top of my head there. But now they're in the center. Her opponent seems a little bit gassed, standing straight up. Standing straight up. Legs way out in front. All she needs to do is go in. 
Clear and go in. Clear and go in. She's standing next to you. Her feet and her legs are right there. Clear and go in. Nayusha, you were so good. You had all kinds of positions. And you just fell to your back. What happened? No. Down by eight now, 35. Calling up. Needs to fire off a big move, get a pin, or else like the day's over. Whoop, shit. Needs to fire something off here. Needs. She was able to get underhook fairly readily if she can get a hip toss in. What are you driving to? Shoulder throw hasn't worked all day. All day that hasn't worked. Fourth time in a row is not going to clear it. Especially when it's the only move you'll ever throw in this match. All your opponent is defending is that. Her feet were just like underneath yours for crying out loud. Clear and go in. Oh, that was brutal. Well, there, hey, that's the match. See you later.